Year nine. Nine years. Nine. 2010. It's amazing how quickly time flies when you're having fun knitting. Um, this really personally was the year of Huck. The good news is he ended up being um, our new model for the shop. So if you look back in some of the pictures, you'll start to see Huck wearing lots of knitted gear and being our little baby model, which was pretty cool. One of our goals as a business has been to really kind of elevate and bring knitting into the limelight and make sure that everybody in the world knows about knitting and everybody knows about yarn shops and how awesome they are. So this year, um, for the second year in a row, we were named one of the fastest growing companies in the country. We were also named one of the best customer service led companies in the country, one of just a few, a really short list, so that was exciting. We were in the New York Times um, and Dell Computers, they named us as one of five retail trailblazers in the country. Um, we were really flattered. Talk about trailblazing, what we did this year, Doug created the Wool Watcher. So we created the Wool Watcher puppy. So the Wool Watcher is a little section on our site, and I guess it's kind of a big section on our site, where we put stuff at a discount and it will stay on the site for two hours or until it sells out, whichever comes first. So sometimes stuff goes in like a minute and sometimes it sits there for two hours. So if you get a chance, go check out the Wool Watcher all 15 days that we are releasing these videos. We've got all kinds of great stuff on the Wool Watcher going out. I created what we called, ended up calling project packs internally. So what we decided to do was on our shipping bags, we had a knitting pattern with little cutout marks. So you could just cut the pattern out, take it with you and you had a waterproof pattern. We also started carrying a line of yarns that I had been coveting for a very, very long time and finally got the opportunity to meet Taiyu, who has now become a really good friend friend of mine seven years later. But I met Taiyu from Koigu at a Stitches event. We became really great friends and she started to ship us some KPM, KPPM, some Kirsty, all kinds of the yarn that she puts together in Canada. And she's actually coming out here in a month or two for our retreat. So um, that was really lucky. If you ever get a chance, go look at Koigu stuff because it's very, very, very unique. Um, again, she was a pioneer and I love pioneering women. All right, thanks.